Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Power Questions with Ajna. Today I'm taking a question that has come to me from Ahmedabad in India. This is Rohit writing in to me and he says, Ajna, decision making is really tough, but implementing your decisions is even tougher. How can we solve this? What are your thoughts? Hmm, well, there's a risk, risk and a big risk. Let's take you through how we can bridge the gap between decision making and implementing your plans. So Rohit, this is for you. Point number one, within the acceptable risk parameters, please shun away your fears. Fear of the outcome of your decision. Remember, you are the mastermind behind your plan. You can very well take care of crisis. So simply, simply, simply just plunge into it. Point number two, Integrated communication between all those who support you in executing your plans is a must, must, and an absolute must. Point number three, your support team needs to be kept in the loop that they are there to support you, which means information required must be provided when you need it. Point number four, appropriate parties must be involved, could be external or internal. This is to implement your plans. Use your brain power to get things done. Point number five, division of labor. Yes, everyone in the team must understand who is doing what to avoid any kind of overlapping or confusions. Point number six, when in planning, there is nothing like an implied meaning or it's understandable or I know you must have understood wrong. Absolutely wrong. Please give clear instructions. Point number seven, to avoid delays in the implementation of decisions taken by you, it's important to keep into consideration the interests of key people involved. That should happen right at the start of the planning stage. You know what? I'm talking about your stakeholders. Beware. Point number eight, be flexible. When it's execution time, you cannot always be rigid. You should be okay to welcome slight tweaking in the pre-designed plans and strategies. Stay prepared for that instead of scrapping off your entire plan. Point number nine, remind yourself the change your decision will bring. Why did you start to plan to implement the change, right? It will save you from being indecisive or delaying what needs to be pushed. In short, please, please, please know your why. Point number 10, reviewing your action plan periodically will give your team and you the assurance that things are moving as planned and will bring desired results when implemented. Point number 11, don't let the enthusiasm in your team die out. They should be as motivated to implement the plan as you are. This energy is very important to drive the change you're looking for, which means stay agile. Point number 12, reward your team as you progress towards the date of implementation of plan. They will stay focused till the end. And trust me, this is not driving. Point number 13, a very important thing. Set a deadline. Just as planning has a start and an end date, so should the implementation date be. It saves you racking your brains over do I do it or not do it. Point number 14, wasting time means incurring costs. You're literally wasting money. After planning, the next step is execution and that's about it. Don't wait for the rains during the drought time. Point number 15, last but not the least, nothing changes if you don't. So it's time to take a plunge. You've taken a decision, it's time to implement it. Go for it. I hope all these points really work for you. You've taken a decision, now it's time to implement it and see the change taking its shape. I wish you all the best. Keep writing in to me with your queries on the email ID given below and I will be happy to answer. My best wishes to all of you and stay tuned for more.